In the previous lecture, we discussed magnifying glasses and simple magnifiers. Now, let's look at the following quick example. So a certain magnifying glass has a focal length of 10 centimeters. A person uses it to read, let's say a book, a distance of 8.2 centimeters away. So in part A, calculate the image distance and in part B, find the angular magnification of the magnifying glass produced when the eye is fully relaxed. So we're assuming the near point of the eye is 25 centimeters. So let's begin with part A. So in part A, we essentially want to use the thin lens equation because the lens of the magnifying glass is in fact a convex or a converging lens. So 1 divided by the focal length is equal to 1 divided by the object distance plus 1 divided by the image distance. So we're looking for di the image distance. So let's bring what we don't know to one side everything else to the other side. So 1 divided by the image distance is equal to 1 divided by the focal length minus 1 divided by the object distance. Now we know the focal length of our lens is given to be 10 centimeters and it's positive because the lens is a convex lens. Now the object distance, the distance from the actual object to the lens is given to be 8.2 centimeters. So 1 divided by 10 minus 1 divided by 8.2 we solve that and then we solve for our image distance di and we see that the image distance is equal to negative 45.6 centimeters. The negative simply implies that our image is found on the same side as the object that is our image is a virtual image. Now let's move on to part B. Find the angular magnification of the magnifying glass produced when the eye is fully relaxed. So let's suppose we have the following magnifying glass. This is our object. We place it some distance away as described in the following stem of the problem. Now what exactly is the purpose of the magnifying glass and what does it do? Well let's suppose I want to examine the following object. What happens is this magnifying glass creates a virtual image of this object and the virtual image is found somewhere on this side of the object. Now the ciliary muscles of the eye are only relaxed when that virtual image produced by this magnifying glass is found infinitely far away. So in part B we're assuming that our image formed by our glass is found infinitely far away and so our eye is looking at the image that is found infinitely far away. So if this is the case, if we're assuming that the image is at a distance that is infinitely far, we use the following equation. m, the angular magnification, is equal to n, the near point of the eye, which is assumed to be 25 centimeters, divided by the focal length of the lens, which is 10 centimeters. So 25 centimeters divided by 10 centimeters gives us a quantity of positive 2.5.